Today's devotional can be found in Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 18. And the Lord hath given me knowledge of it, and I know it, that thou shewest me their doings. All right. At different points in our lives, the Lord will give us knowledge according to our faithfulness and our desire. He will give us knowledge that will help us and even give us a glimpse of what we are meant to do. That's called revelation. But in order to have revelation, we need to prepare to have revelation by first having the Spirit with us. And when we truly seek after knowledge with pure intent, that we might be able to learn and do good by it and apply that knowledge that we might have experiences that will make us wiser. Lord will grant us the knowledge we seek and he will help us to understand it that we may know it and be able to apply it in such a way that will benefit us the most. And through our knowledge, we can learn how others have used their agency and will use their agency because everyone's got agency and everyone receives different knowledge according to their faith and their desires of their heart. And We can see ourselves in both the people of the past and the future, and we can also serve as a guide for the people of the future. As the people of the past have served as a guide for us by according to what they have done, with the knowledge that Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ have given them, and according to how they applied that knowledge to and become wise as a result of their experiences. And according to what we do with the knowledge we are given, and how we apply it and become wise from our experiences, is how we can be an example to those of future generations that they may know how to apply knowledge and how not to apply knowledge, and that the Lord is the giver of all good knowledge, and that Satan tries very hard to disguise evil as good and tries very hard to teach us that subtleties are not bad, that we can do little things and still stay close to God, that we can do little atrocities and stay in our comfort zone and still be close to God, but The closer we get to God, the more we get out of our comfort zone, but God will be with us, because, but he wants us to come out of our comfort zone, because by being willing to come out of our comfort zone and trust God in faith, we are showing him that we are prepared for the knowledge that he's giving us and prepared to apply it in whatever way will benefit us the most. And we have resources of the past to guide us and the generations ahead of us will have resources that we provide. All good knowledge comes of God and it is given to us and what we do with it not only impacts us but the people of the future as well. The knowledge that Christ had of what he was meant to do impacted us because he acted on us. Acted on it and gave us the atonement that we might know all things and someday be perfect if we so choose. That we can be reminded of the knowledge that we're children of God and we're far more than anyone else believes. But it's our choice. How we wish to use the knowledge we are given and how we wish to be an example with the knowledge we are given and what kind of example we wish to be with the knowledge we are given.
And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.